It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good evening, good, good evening, evening, everybody. Welcome back to The Journey with... KS. I'm your host, KS. And I'm your co-host, owner, and it is Sunday, June 18th. That's right, it's mm. Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the dads and soon-to-be soon to dads, dads out, out there. there. If you're interested in visiting us on The Journey with KS and owner, or if you're interested in collaborating with us in any way, please feel free to contact our... Management team, Bree at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. All right, KS, where can we find you on social media and what other type of projects can we hire you to do? All right, guys, if you have Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, all you got to do is search at I'm KS Music. That is at I M. KS Music, Facebook KS, and YouTube is KS Music. Smash that space bar in between KS and Music. And um, yeah, for projects, just had a Let Me Be the One come out with Skiggy Beats, CC Beats. Um, just had Glow Sticks, your new song that I uh, had produced. We got Lane. Lane's coming Lane's up. coming up with her Erase. new single. Yep, Erase. Yes, got a project working on with Reagan as well as uh, Caitlin Fewer, who's going to be making an awesome. amusement yeah. announcement. We're excited to work with mm -hmm. all you guys, and um, hopefully more you artists, independent artists, aspiring to be artists, will reach out to us at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com and yeah. allow us to help you get your uh, career off the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, we got celebrity birthdays. If we have any country fans out there, we know you'd like to celebrate Blake Shelton's birthday with us today. He has turned 47 years old. Before he became famous, Shelton began singing and playing guitar when he was in the middle school, when he was in middle school and wrote his first song at age of 15. Hmm. He received a Denbo Diamond Award in Oklahoma when he was 16. He is now known as the country star whose single, Austin, rose to number one on Country Billboard for five weeks in 2001. His first three albums were gold certified. At the 2014 CMA Awards, he was named Male Vocalist of the Year. In 2011, he began working as a vocal coach on the NBC show The Voice alongside Christina Aguilera. By the way, Christina Aguilera just booked um, her first show in Israel. Ooh. She's doing a show there. Okay. Mm. Mm. On The Voice is where Shelton met his current wife, Gwen Stefani, from the band No Doubt. It is also the 81st birthday of the one and only Paul McCartney, singer and multi-instrumentalist of the Beatles who wrote such hit songs for the band as Penny Lane, Blackbird, and Eleanor Rigby. After this time, after his time with the Beatles, he formed the band Wings and embarked upon a solo career. He has earned 21 Grammy Awards across his career. A little known fact about McCartney on how he got his start. He met George Harrison on the school bus as a child, and he joined John, Len John Lennon's skiffle group, The Quarry Men, when he was 15. After Harrison joined the band as well, they changed their name to The Beatles. The Beatles won an Academy Award for Best Music, original song score for their 1970 Let It Be documentary, Paul also received an Academy Award nomination for his song, Live and Let Die, which was the theme song for the 1973 James Bond film of the same name. Other birthdays this week, Macklemore on the 19th, movie actress Nicole Kidman, and Lionel Richie on the 20th. The 21st has got Lana Del Rey, Chris Pratt, and Prince William of Wales. The 22nd, Meryl Streep, Cindy Lauper. And TV personality, Carson Daly. On the 23rd, Jason Mraz. And on the 24th, soccer player, Lionel Messi. And Mindy Kaling. Kaling. <laughs> we have some birthday shout-outs for today, guys. Um, 
Tomorrow, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Nicole. She's the brains behind the operation here on the journey and keeps us grounded when we get carried away and act like our beavers and buttheads out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all you do for us, and we hope you have an amazing and amazing birthday and year. In Charleston. Yes. Okay. We'd also like to give a sh shout out and big birthday shout out to Johnny and Grace. They are from Brook, New Jersey. And we hope you enjoy your day on the 24th as well. If you guys ha have a birthday that you would like to get shout out or somebody else's birthday that you know would love to get a birthday shout out on air, please message us on any social media platform or email us at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com and we will take care of you. All right. That is celebrity birthdays for today, which is also Father's Day. Now, we welcome you guys onto Sony Hole Radio every Sunday at 8 p.m. And you guys can also follow our podcast on YouTube, The Journey, Space Bar with KS. And you can see all the episodes from our podcast on YouTube. Now, KS, as you mentioned before, new track, CC Beats, Skiggy Beats, Cass Weinbrand. What, what was it like working with him and some of the credits that they do have? And the name of the new song, a little bit about the new song, and... Um, Excited to present that to the viewers. Okay, so let me be the one with uh, me and Skiggy Beats and CC Beats. It was absolutely an amazing song. Um, Skiggy and Cass, who is CC Beats, you know, they, they did the song and um, they killed it. It's got like a very, very vibrant and, and, and alive and dancing kind of energy feel. Um, Cast was like, hey, you know, I got some songs that I worked on with people and I got some instrumentals and things like that. You know, let me know if there's something that you would like to do, maybe a remix, maybe, you know, just work on. And um, I picked this one because I just I had liked the beat. I had liked the direction that um, him and Skiggy went with it. And, you know, he was like, here, you know, let me see what you can do with it. Um, and it became let me be the one. And, uh, you know, Cass has worked with massive, massive amounts of people um, internationally, as well as um, some major credits include, you know, Action Bronson, 2 Chains. Um, he just did some stuff on Disney+. Plus. Um, he's also got commercials with McDonald's and, and, and so many, so many credits. And it's been an unbelievable time working with him. He's amazing. Um, and he is working on some collaborations on some of the projects that I have as well. Upcoming projects like with, uh, he was on lanes and, um, he's going to be on Reagan's. So I'm just excited to see where the future goes, uh, working with him as well. And, um, yeah. Let Me Be The One came out on May 25th, and uh, we will be dropping that today on Sony Hawk Radio. As a matter of fact, we'll be dropping it right now. I see them pics in your Instagram stories, and I can tell that you're worried. I know that things aren't the same. They used to be, yeah, I'm certain On the surface, it's showing It don't look perfect The vibe that you're giving up Deep down, you're more than hurting That this relationship was sinking Is more of a burden And I'm determined to change All your emotional pain And feel the hole that's empty inside of you Let me be the one We all need the one I kind of love that's true I know you need someone You deserve someone To treat you better than he would Let me be the one We all need the one To have a life of love again I know you need someone, you deserve the one I know I'm the better man I see you falling out of love, falling out of love There's a snag and that's drag, there's a red flag I see you falling out of love, falling out of love There's always hope that we'll get better So cut the tether It's thought that he would hold your heart And now you don't believe He's the one that you need So let me take the lead Cause he ain't better than me No, he ain't better than me Hey baby it's time to push past, there ain't no need to cling Cause to me it don't look like there's gonna be a ring He's looking like the type that brings the hype of secret league he flings Don't let him string you around, you guys should be in sync The love should show out, not have to be examined If you were truly happy, something drastic must have happened It's bigger than a bandage, you should re-examine Then take advantage, not have to manage Cause he caused some major damage Let me be the one, we all need the one I got a love that's true I know you need someone, you deserve someone to treat you
you better than he would Let me be the one, we all need the one To have a life of love again I know you need someone, you deserve the one I know I'm the better man I see you falling out of love, falling out of love There's a snag and not a drag, there's a red flag I see you falling out of love, falling out of love There's always hope we will get better, so cut the tether Let me take the lead, cause he ain't better than me No, he ain't better I'm than me I'm coming in strong from my debut And he ain't getting the job done by my review I can tell from your eyes that you see it too I can understand if you're really scared to pursue You came in here to find the perfect mate So why have to contemplate or compensate Be here for love to help you elevate Let's clean this lake and give you real love Let me erase the pain, there should be no debate I see you falling out of love, falling out of love There's a snag and that's drag, there's a red flag And that was Let Me Be The One, New KS Music. Guys, go stream that everywhere. <clears throat> You're going to love it. And now, what we're going to do is get into the What Would You Do segment, where KS and owner will share hypothetical questions and answers. So this time we have the first one. KS, are you ready? I am ready. All right. You can time travel. What would one, What one event would you like to go back to and witness? Time travel. Hmm. Um, I mean, if I could just witness it and not have to worry about, like, you know, if it was going to, like, affect me. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'd want to see, like, dinosaurs. That's time travel. Yeah. That's back. That's back. You know what I mean? Because back. I'm like, I, you know, I'm like, I, do I want to witness World War II or, you know what I mean? Something like that. Like, I would love to see dinosaurs. Like, did they really exist? I would like to witness a time, at least a time where they didn't have. Honestly, I would just like to witness any time before or maybe nobody knew about America, like pyramids, maybe like Egypt, like back then. Well, there's see, still like, pyramids that, in Egypt. I but, mean, like, was it like like? Oh, when they were building the building, pyramids, like like you know that's, what I mean? That's, like that's 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 a long. Like, time how did ago. they build the pyramids? Like, there's no way all those people held those big they pieces enslaved and the walked Jews. Them up. That's what the Jews built when they were enslaved in Egypt. They built the pyramids. It's too heavy to get up there. No, they you didn't. No, I'm saying they, 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 those aren't bricks. They're 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 like um, sand. No, no, I'm saying like they're they're like once you build one, you're mm -hmm. on top of it. So you're standing. It's like they're they're gigantic. See what I'm saying? So it's 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 um, brick and mortar. You know what I'm saying? It's concrete. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But they, when they built it, they stood on top of it. And then built another one, yeah, and then they're, we're on they're top. They're way too level and straight for those people to get that right. Those they be looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're like the, so perfectly. That right. would be interesting to see how that happened. But yeah, yeah, they were built back then. I they're, wouldn't be surprised if there's old. aliens helping because I'm like that's straight. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean? how do you know it's straight? Just from the pictures, but you never actually seen it in person. True. Could be crooked. True. Not many people be walking up the pyramids. Yeah. It could be that there's a lot of cracks in them and they're not really that sturdy. Because I'm like, dang, there'd be no way. Every time you see one, you're like, how in the, every but that's brick a is picture. like, it looks like a, like a... That's a picture of a movie. Because uh, they're not bricks. Yeah, but even they're on like... They're not small. But even they're, on like National gigantic. Geographic, you know they're what I'm gigantic, saying? They're gigantic though, they're not bricks. Like, I mean, I'm saying like, they're like, they're like big bricks. But they're like, no, they're a million they're, miles. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not bricks though, they're, 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 they're um, what today you would be called uh, yes. a patio? Patio. Yeah. They're, they're gigantic structures. They're not bricks. They're they're gigantic structures. So they're not like it's not like you built a couple bricks, put them together. Yeah. And step, like I mean, they're just they're, it's almost like you built the bottom floor all the way around. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then you built the other bottom floor, and then all of a sudden it came in. But it, they weren't built as sides. They were built as layers. True. Yeah. Still, they had it was heavy. The heavy people had to be strong to do that. Yeah. But yeah, I'd like to go back to a time where nobody knew about America. You know what I'm saying? Like the world just, America didn't, it was, it's only, what, 500 years that people even knew this land even existed. Yeah. Besides the people that were here already, the Indians. Mm-hmm. 
So that's pretty crazy. All right. Since we are time traveling, you can also go back in time and uninvent something. What invention would you erase from history and why? How would life be different? That's a great one. What invention? I don't know. Hmm. Because if you take something away, it's going to be, like, life-changing. You know what I mean? You can't be like, well, we took away electricity because then, like, you know what I'm no, saying? No, I don't know if I would take away electricity. But one invention, uh, to be honest with you, I would probably take away, so like, Facebook or MySpace or whatever the first one was. Because if the first one never came about. You mean internet or just not internet, social media? I'm just saying the, the, the social media. Oh, I, or I would reinvent how social media would work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, or, you know, like implementing way different type of protocols that kept people safe, mm -hmm. which is, it's just way too open. It's now, nowadays, I mean, it's just, it's become, and then from one platform to the other platform, now it's like, <clears throat> but I feel like if, it, if social media was started differently mm -hmm. and more protocols were put in place to make it work differently, because the yeah. benefits of social media are great. And if you you had the world today, but the only thing you didn't have was social media, it'd be kind of weird. But um, oh. I would just re-implement how that where the vision of social media would go. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I could see that. I would I would go with that because I'm like I can't really think of anything. That, the cars you know, were good, you know, planes. Yeah, and it's, you know. it's gotta be something that's like not like dr dr that would change life dr drastically. So I don't know. Yeah. That was hmm. a good one. Okay. While having a ghost linger might not seem like the best thing to happen, it might have its positives. Choose any person's ghost to haunt you. Who would you choose and why? How would you? How would it benefit you or others? Hmm. Dang. <laughs> Who would you choose as a ghost? Ooh. Um. Moses. <laughs> hmm. Probably Moses. Hmm, the guy spoke. Know. He spoke to God. Yeah, right. In a bush. In a bush. I probably want him to haunt me. <laughs> I was like, I want this guy. He spoke to God <laughs> in a bush. In a bush, <laughs> like literally. I don't know. Like, I don't even know. Probably somebody from back in the day. Speaking of that, like you, the, all the, the 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 bricks and stuff. Like he walked up a mountain. Yeah. In forty days, like. That's crazy. That's crazy. I might want to go back and watch and see that he walked up that mountain in and 40 barefoot days. too. And yeah. barefoot. Ouch. Maybe some slippers. I'm like, what happened to our feet now? We're so sensitive. <laughs> How did he walk up that mountain with nothing on my feet? You know what I mean? I'm like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I'd probably say somebody back then, like him, hey, or like, maybe like Noah about the ark. Yeah, like, about something like that. Some like, biblical creature. Yeah, divine. Tell me, like, yo, move right, go left, mm -hmm. hook, go left, move right. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, guys, that was what would you do? And um, we are going to drop my new song, Glow Sticks, which is also produced by KS. Yeah. 
time pass over straight through this race season We're still fighting the same fight Just to be remembered by candle, candlelight Ups and downs come between the wrong and the right, right But no one, yeah, no one will be messing with me Don't hesitate, it's the life you've chosen Look to the sky as door is always open Cause glow sticks don't glow All right, all right, that was Glow Sticks, and we are going to jump right now into National Days. Okay, guys, today is Father's Day, and it may or may not be a coincidence that today is also National Go Fishing Day. (laughs) I think they did that one on purpose. National Go Fishing Day on June 18th each year encourage us to drop a line in the nearest stream, pond, lake, or river. Taking a break from our daily routine to bait a hook and catch some fish can be a relaxing endeavor. In addition to providing food, fishing is a recreational pastime for many and known as an activity that kids enjoy with their fathers. Recreational fishing includes conventions, rules, licensing restrictions, and laws that limit the way in which fish may be caught. A rod, a reel, line, and hooks with any one of the different forms of bait or lures are the most common form of recreational fishing. Today is also National Splurge Day. That sounds like a fun one. National Splurge Day on June 18th encourages us to break out the rainy rainy day funds and spend a little. Splurge, as defined at Dictionary.com, is to indulge oneself in some luxury or pleasure. Splurging doesn't require wiping out the savings account, especially if it's only an occasional event. Of course, splurging comes in many forms. To some, it can mean saying yes to whipped cream on your latte or that bracelet you've been eyeing. To others, it may look it may mean booking that vacation you've been dreaming about or taking or replacing your clunker of a car. However, you celebrate the day, savor the indulgence. You've earned it. What are some great ways to splurge? Visit your favorite restaurant. Get a mani and pedi. Take an art or cooking class. Take a nap. Get a massage. Wash the car. How do you think you'll splurge today? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Probably just uh, go to Charleston. <laughs> Eat dinner. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, relax. Yeah. Chill. That's my splurge. Uh-huh. Relax day. Yeah, not work. But um, we're still doing the radio show. Uh, yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> I guess after the show, we'll splurge. Yeah. <laughs> Um, other National Day guys to observe this week include June 19th. Oh, June. Ne- June oh, my 19th. gosh. <laughs> I always mess that one up. <laughs> Juneteenth and National Martini Day. On uh, the 20th, we got National Vanilla Milkshake Day. Mm. June 21st, official first official day of summer and National Smoothie Day. Ooh, it sounds like. Shakes and smoothies this week. The 22nd, National Onion Ring Day. Onion Mm. rings and smoothies. The 23rd, (laughs) National Take Your Dog to Work Day. (laughs) On the 24th, Swim a Lap Day and National Up Cycling Day. All right, all right. Mm. Nationals Days. All right. So, guys, we are going to um, hit up our advice column right now. And uh, we have a couple questions that are questions. That our listeners have sent in seeking advice from us. So, first question is for KS. The question is sent in from Drew, who is 16 years old and an inspiring musician. Hi, KS. If you had to choose three things to do that are most important to become a better musician, what would those three things be? Okay, so the first and foremost, the most important thing to become a better musician is A, you need to practice. That's the first thing. So whether you're um, a vocalist, an instrumentalist, you know, 
practice, practice, practice is the most important thing. Um, number two, the second most important thing is, I would say, learn. Learn about music in general, whether you're a vocalist, learn about you know, different techniques of singing or learn about, um, if you're going to record, learn about the recording process to make it easier for yourself or an instrument or something that can help you gain more, um, more information about, you know, what you're trying to do. The third thing that I would say to become a better musician is, dun, 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 dun. um, I guess it would be to actually pick up an actual instrument or um, or to practice singing if you are an instrumentalist as a not just learn that instrument but learn another one this way you can just be well versed as an artist or musician yeah cool all right next question is for owner okay this <clears throat> is sent by Stephen F. Hi, owner. I am currently at a crossroads. I have been an educator for the last 10 years, but I have always had a passion for real estate. An, upper, an opportunity has come up for me to embark on a business venture, but it would require me to leave the profession that is my security. What is the hardest part about being an entrepreneur and what challenges are on the road ahead of me? I just want to say... I am up for the challenge, but I am just looking for some words of wisdom. Well, first of all, Stephen, good luck on your business venture. Um, I think that <clears throat> giving up your security is a big risk, but I think that if you stay motivated and you um, stay professional and keep your eye on the prize and um, learn from your mistakes and never give up, I think that... You uh, you can do it, man, and um, it's going to be a challenging road. But uh, remember that it's your road, and um, you know as long as that you make sure that you stay focused on your road and keep yourself healthy and and happy and don't uh, overdo it. Um, you can you can achieve that goal. So good luck. Yes, great great advice. All right, mm. KS. Do we have TikTok shoutouts for Father's Day? Yes, we do, guys. We have a huge list again, as we have lots of people who gifted over that. We are getting through those names over the past uh, month or so. We got Rocco's underscore modern. We got James Houston Jr., who's a mod. We got real underscores the Carver 87. Mama Chells May with two E's. Lily of the Sound. We got May Lee. That's M A L I E 305. Our scriptwriter and manager sting like a brie. We got J L L Y Beans 216, the official dot nana dot K. We have Ice Queen underscore K A I. We also have Jen J E N N, Makita M I K I T A, and we have Big Mac 03. All right, all right, guys. And most of all, we want to take the journey with you guys. So we appreciate you guys taking the journey with us. But make mm -hmm. sure you let us know where you're tuning in from. What are your hobbies? What's your journey about? Because we want to get involved and take the journey with you guys. Yes. We are always looking for people to invite on air with us or even join our team. So if you or anybody you know might be interested, please email us at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. If you guys want to have your business advertised right here on our show, let us know. And you could join the team like Dessert Options, mm -hmm. one of our sponsors. Make sure you guys contact Les at DessertOptions.com to learn more about his famous desserts. And happy Father's Day to my father. Yes. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and the soon-to-be fathers out there. And thank you for turning, tuning into the journey with KS on Sony Hulk Radio. We look forward to having you guys on us every Sunday to follow our journey. Peace. Peace. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey.